Hello there folks, today we're going to take a look and compare the Vortex Diamondback HD binoculars against the Vortex Crossfire HD binoculars. Now Now, both of these are available in different magnifications. The uh, Diamondbacks I happen to have on hand right now are 12 by 50s, and the Crossfires happen to be 10 by 50s. Now, right off, right off the bat, even though these Diamondbacks are a greater magnification, you can see they're actually shorter and more compact. So right off the bat, the Crossfires are going to run larger and less compact than the Diamondback series, even though both are a budget-friendly series of binoculars. Another thing to note is that the Diamondbacks run a little bit lighter in weight. When I put these on the scale right now, I'm getting about 7.9 to 8.1 ounces for the Diamondbacks. And for the uh, Crossfire, I'm getting about oh nine or ten ounces so they run heavier and they're more bulky now another thing to take a look at right here is the eye cups now let's first take a look at the vortex um, diamondback ht binos and these eye cups here are pretty firm but they have like notches or subtensions so i pull it up it's got one subtension right there and then it kind of clicks out and locks out they're a little bit stiff and they stay in place well. Now let's take a look at the Vortex Crossfire HD binos, which by the way, both of these I bought with my own money. They weren't sent to me or anything like that. Now you can see this smoothly goes up and down. It's a little tiny bit looser and there's no subtension. So if you want your eye relief in between the max and minimum setting um, and you push down on this, it's gonna wanna close on you. So the eye cups on the Vortex HD binos are actually better than the Crossfire binos. Now let's take a look at the diopter. The diopter is right here on the right side on both. It's basically a plastic or rubberized uh, uh, dial here with some knurling on it so you can grab it. It has a little uh, indication notch on the scope body and on the ring. On these Vortex Crossfire binos, it's kind of little bit tiny bit gritty but it's not too bad and it works well on the diamondback binos it doesn't have like a notch on the body it has more of like a dimple um, and the ring happens feels like it might be made uh, a little bit higher quality it has deeper grooves in it and it does run a little bit more smooth but both work all right so now let's take a look at the focus wheel or knob in the middle here it's uh, rubberized, it's got some grooves cut into it, so it's easy to grasp. It's very, very smooth, works well, um, and I've been very pleased with that on these. That's the Vortex uh, Diamondback. Now let's take a look at the Crossfire here. The Crossfire, the grooves aren't quite as deep, and it feels not as rubberized to the finger, um, but it's just as smooth and works pretty much the same. Uh, not a huge difference there. All right, both come with glass packs, um, which is a great thing. They come with pack carriers, just like this, and all the straps that are necessary, as well as a lanyard. And they have notches right here on the side to attach your lanyard. Both have rubberized outers, although on the Diamondbacks, you have texturing in the rubber to make it easier to grip. Both have uh, like a, a thumb groove for you to rest your thumb in. Um, and ergonomically, they both feel great. Now, the Diamondbacks do feel a little bit lighter, a little bit more compact, a little bit better, um, but both feel good. Both are made in China, by the way. Now, when I went outside and I, I looked through these and tested them, I noticed that uh, the glass is better in the Diamondbacks, especially at low light, just at dusk or dawn, it's noticeably better in the Diamondbacks. However, both are good enough for most hunters out there or most casual bird watchers. Um, the, the lenses are fully multi-coated. Both binoculars come with the full Vortex VIP warranty and both are, are purged so they're fog-proof, waterproof, shock-proof, and both are very durably made. Um, I haven't any problems with either one getting water inside their fog or condensation inside the lenses. Um, there is, like I said, a more edge-to-edge -edge distortion in the crossfires than there is in the Diamondbacks. There is more uh, chromatic aberration as well, but both 
are decent binos in that uh, low end or beginner range price category.